Oh, hi. I've been waiting for you. Last time when we left off, our hometown heroes were just exiting hometown, and their teacher, Mr. S, stopped them. Let's see what happens this time. We can also assume that it's the same thing that happened in 1990, but it's still gonna be super different. So we can explore what that's like. Decided to come with you. Interesting, now he's teacher instead of Mr. S, which is a direct translation of Sensei. I've got to investigate the translation team and find out if they are English or Japanese. English speaking. Or Japanese speaking. Or something else altogether. Ethnocentrism is something we all must contend with. Before you go out, I have a few bits of advice for you. When you make contact with the enemies out there, be warned that a battle will commence. If there are other enemies in the area at that time, it's possible they may come join the fight. Be sure to always keep an eye on your surroundings, since it can be difficult to deal with a large number of enemies at once. You can rotate the camera by pushing the L button to view your left side and the R button to view your right side. Oh, Mr. S is way beyond us in meta terms. By the way, there is a limit to the number of times you can use weapon or abilities while in battle. Therefore, always choose your actions wisely and don't get stuck being unable to act. The number of remaining uses of each item is shown to the right of each item name. I think this is the game's way of lampshading how punitive the PP system is. <laughs> hmm. Well, enough with the long speeches for now. If you would like further explanation, you can open the menu and press the start button. While I'm here with you, I can give you various tips. Became able to listen to chat from partners. If I recall, and this is something I forgot to do last time, the way that you listen to chat from partners is you press B, maybe? A? Select? X? You know what? I have no idea how to listen to chat from partners. But you can do it. There really is a way to hear exactly what your NPC has to do at that time. Oh, whoa! Jaguar! That's cool. Here we go! First battle and it's Jaguars again! This is so nostalgic. Ooh, a Derringer! There was a weapon description I didn't see before, let's pop back to that. Jaguar times two. Uh, stylus is a longsword. A conventional sword, easy to use. I'm very into these descriptions. That's very much my bag. Dissolve. A massive iron weapon that can smash enemies into bits with nothing more than its weight. Oh, tough is a tough guy. Cold wave, instead of blizzard, countless hailstones rain down like meteors. You know what, let's just, let's run this just to run it, since there are two jaguars. Dissolve magic art that leeches HP from the enemy, dissolving even the undead. A magic art that leeches HP. Oh, same deal. But even so, finding out what all this stuff is feels super cool. And commence battle. It would be a little bit cooler if the Jaguars had their own custom avatars, but, I mean, this is amazing. Oh gosh, do I want to eat Jaguar beef? No, I don't want to take risks with... No, I don't want to take risks with such a precious slime. Still gotta do that research. Is that a cave? Is that a town? Is that where we just came from? Yes. 10,000% is. Moving forward. From Nostalgic Jaguar- Oh, I bet this is a skeleton or a cigarette or what even is in a cigarette? Finally, we'll find out. Robbers! Derringer. Oh, the Derringer is a gun. A sleek and easily concealed non-repeating pistol. A favored tool of assassin. We are a robot. That's fine. Ah, uh, so I want to use Dissolve on the other Jaguar.
but I'm not sure how to choose between them. Uh, right on the d-pad doesn't do it, down on the d-pad doesn't do it, R doesn't do it. Stylus just takes me to this group commence battle thing. So let's see what that does. I sincerely don't know which robber that was. But everybody else is doing their job real good. And I appreciate Tuff's overcompensation for his magical nature with a hammer. Particularly now that he's learned sleep. Let's try that out next time. I don't think I remember anything about that status effect, but I mean, beyond the standard ideas. But I would love to try it out in my fully new experience. Well, I somehow accidentally get to the select screen again. Woof, this is this is not a great angle. Let's let's move the camera. God, where are we? What's happening? Oh, we're in tall we're straight up in tall grass. I'm gonna catch a friggin' Weedle, I'm gonna get my first rat I'm gonna get a Pidgey. Yes, things are gonna be good for us. Okay, uh, pressing L and R really just got me super disoriented. But it looks like we're making it. Unless we started from the bottom and I just brought us back to hometown, which is an absolute possibility. Let's try out sleep. A spell that blocks nerve reception to the brain, putting the target in a deep sleep. You know, maybe I was wrong about this not being super slime punk and cyberpunk. Also, the reason that I wasn't able to choose between robbers to use Dissolve on is because it's an AoE, which is new or I forgot. One of the above. So it's equally possible. Are you in the North Cave or did I get us that lost? Oh yeah. I guess we could go rest with mom. I guess I could be capable of navigating. Yeah, there really are so many possibilities. Like the two that I just mentioned, and uh, no others. Jaguar! Uh, the Persona fan in me keeps freaking out that they come from behind. I feel like I'm always getting ambushed, but I think that that's just the way that things are. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, this is an AoE. And, uh, I don't know if I want to try sleep again. I think let's just do Blizzard. Nah, if, if Teacher, if Mr. S, Teacher doesn't get them all, then I want to see what sleep does. Let's commence. Oh, looks cool. And that Jaguar is asleep. In real life I say Jaguar, not Jaguar, but I think it's fun to say Jaguar. Okay, that's like the first time that I've actually gotten heals from Dissolve. I wonder if it's because the evasion level was lower because it is asleep. These are all great things that I could totally research or keep experimenting with, or just comment on into the void. It's interesting that our currency is Kiro now, as opposed to Gil. Alright, I'm making it, and this time I won't get ambushed. Just kidding, I'm gonna get super ambushed. Alright, we got our robber boys. Gonna do a regular old long smash. Gonna dissolve some dissolves. Oh! That robber couldn't do any damage to Alola. I should check Alola's stats. Maybe, maybe physical attacks like that just get caught up in the slime. But I don't think that there's any kind of paralysis, poison, or avoid physical that has to do with slime. At least historically. But it's worth looking into. Oh, you know what? That would probably be a signal when I wasn't even paying attention. I was just on RPG autopilot, thinking about slime. Ah, uh, but nevertheless... Alright, X button. X button takes us here. So let's look at abilities. We've still got Paco, our poison. Let's see what bombs armor on. Dialus. 
Interesting. Okay, so Alola is strong against flame. And everybody else doesn't have so many surprises. Ooh, I swear that this directional system is more confusing than it looks and it isn't just that I'm super dumb. I swear it. Okay, this robber is definitely separate from the Asigaru that we just saw. And I wonder if I should be saying Ashigaru. Ashi but I'm not gonna, because I'm gonna feel super weird about it every time and I'm probably also still gonna get it wrong. So we can all just enjoy my thick American accent together. A disproportionate amount of people who meet me think that I am English. I am not. I was born and raised in hometown California. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know if it has to do with fast talking or... I don't know, something. Uh, Daddy Longlegs, things are pretty variant here. Uh, as I recall, skeletons are weak to fire, which is irrelevant because Teacher could take it out either way, but... It's nice to see. Uh, since I didn't use an AoE with Teacher, everybody else has to work for it. Oh, Battlehammer did not do well on that spider. But Dissolve did. Now we know. Gun Jaguar. Sword Jaguar. Dissolve Jaguar. Hit Jaguar with a big hammer. Hit Jaguar with a big hammer and don't accidentally choose to run away from the battle. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Oh, max HP increased. Max HP increased? Oh, look at that! Look at the regularity, look at the immediacy of improvement. What is happening in this area where I am? Oh, is that the North Cave? Is that the North Cave? I think it is. I think that this cave is to the north. How did I get confused earlier when I went down instead of up when the cave is literally called the North Cave? Let's never speak of this again. I'm gonna use the camera to make things less disorienting. Oh, can I sneak up on you? Oh, is this gonna be a double battle? I see how- okay, so it's more world ends with you than Persona. But even then, it's more kind of standardized RPG. It's like a take on it that feels like it would be the first. Gonna dissolve that daddy long legs. We're not gonna hit it with a battle hammer. Uh, oh. Oh no, he's still on fire? Was it? Oh, it's an. It does every single one of the same type, but not of different types. Well, let's torch the skeleton. I don't really get why fire would be the strongest against skeletons instead of something that has meat, but I guess cremation is a thing that works. So, I'm willing to accept it. You know, maybe Battle Hammer just sucks. Like, that's possible as well. Maybe it's that whole thing about how tough is overcompensating and using a strength weapon, when I mean, really his lifestyle is dexterity based. Enoki Mimics, that's super cute. Super cute little mushroom. I would like it if the icon for Pux Derringer was a gun instead of a sword. I strongly feel that if we could pull that off in 1990, in 2009, it was also achievable. Oh, I did think that that mushroom was really cute, and I don't understand anything about monster mechanics. But what if I stop being a cute slime? I mean, I will stop being a cute slime, but what if I'm something that's not cute? Alright, we're taking this risk together. We're taking the plunge. Ugh. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, and if my friend becomes my enemy, then my enemy will know how... My friend will know how the enemy thinks. I'm not super stoked on this. Can you tell? Uh, speaking of taking the plunge, I watched Titanic last night, and in the front half there is an unbelievable amount of language that is related to plunging and sinking in totally casual situations. Like uh, Rose and Jack are flirting, and he talks about how with 
how heavy her necklace was, she would definitely sink when she refers to just taking the plunge. It's rough. I had watched the back half and then I was watching the front half, so it's kind of hard not to see how much brutal foreshadowing there is. And the answer to how much is so much. Really a lot. I'm going to just take out one robber at a time because inevitably for each one that gets defeated, somebody will just re-aim to a new robber, so I don't really need to trip on it. I am enjoying how the North Cave feels more cave-like, like it feels dark and atmospheric and I feel not claustrophobic, but that's maybe what I'm looking for. Conceptually something similar to claustrophobic. I don't know why this robber thought he could take on a group of, like, five fully armed people, even with his two friends. Now he is dead, and we have his money, and he didn't get any of our money. So... This newt is super cute. I'm glad I didn't say lizard, so that my diction could reflect how I felt. Also, this goblin is super cute. Everyone is super cute. I mean, we still have to kill them, but I can enjoy how precious they are. Maybe... Oh, I better take care of Stylus or Tough. I was not paying attention to how out of sorts they are. And now we're too far from Mom. Uh, does anybody have a healing ability? I don't think so. So we have... Oh, we have four potions. Yeah, I want to use a potion. Let's use a potion... Whoops. Use a potion on Stylus. And I think Tuff can make it, but I want to protect him. He'd never ask for help, you know? He's got that chip on his shoulder. He wants the world to think that he doesn't hurt. That said, I'm still going to get into every battle that I can, because I think like 60% of grinding is just good battle practice when you're out exploring. So regular old Daddy Long Legs. You know what? Daddy Long Legs are a little bit tough. Let's maybe make him sleep. Maybe that is what Tuff can do. I mean, I'm totally going to eat the spider meat, because I'm not enjoying being this turtle jaguar. Okay, I'll take it. I'm into this. It's not super strong, but it's super cute. It's a toad wearing clothes. And a jaguar from behind. I think that'll be a hardcore band that I start. Like a post-hardcore band. We'll call it a jaguar from behind. Maybe it's not post hardware. Hard, hardware. <laughs> Maybe it's not post hard core. Maybe it's like a math rock band. Or like old school emo, but we're doing it now. A jaguar from behind. Yeah, I'm into this. Oh, look at how much bigger the treasure tower, treasure platform is. Get out of our way, Spidey. Little speeds? Little speedster? Yeah, the toad can only do tongue. Which I'd actually like to explore on Daddy Longlegs, seeing as he's so resistant to so many things. Uh, yeah, we'll have him use Cold Wave. And... Oh, we only have one Dissolve left, alright. Time to use some fire. Let's get that skeleton, since it, I don't think we have anybody else's attention on him. I mean, it was better than... It's at least as good as the Battle Hammer. Toad Tongue. Maybe getting along legs just have particularly high defense, and that's the issue. Maybe also stop beating up all my friends, you friggin' spider. Now you're dead, and we're gonna kill all your friends, because you couldn't just leave us alone and let us explore this cave. All I wanted was some treasure. I just wanted to live my life. Can't you relate? Haven't you ever been through something like that? Nice! Okay, so now Tuff has learned Cure. Let's try Daddy Longlegs Meat on the Toad. Oh! Whew. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some research before the next time we go Titanic. So again, uh, thank you so much for watching.
all learned a lot about Ashigaru today, and we'll doubtlessly learn a lot more next time. I'll see you on Sunday.